Now, I know I'm a bit late to the party, but today I want to showcase testing the newly released Llama 3.3. For my purposes and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 70B Q4KM quant, which in other words, is essentially the default model that will be pulled when you run it through Olama, which is how I will be testing it today. So it should be pretty exciting as this does seem to be benchmarking rather competitively to not only other similarly sized models, but to the previous Llama 3.2 405B. So that is quite impressive to say the least. To begin, and keeping in mind that this is just going to be a relatively quick test of this model, I'm going to go ahead and utilize the prompt that I've been using when I test some of the new Frontier models from Google or OpenAI. And essentially what it is, is just asking the model to make a simple Python Synthwave outrun driving game. So if I press enter here, I am actually using anything LLM because I really do like the aesthetics of this interface and actually communicating with the LLM. However, this is using the Llama 3.3 70B, and it is hooked up to Olama, which is how this is working. So we can see that utilization is relatively high across either card, around 22 gigabytes. Now, keeping in mind that OBS is using around three on the first card, so it would be using about 19 gigabytes on card zero and then 22 on card one. And we can see right now that it is generating the Python script. Now, for my purposes in testing this, really what I try to do is first and foremost, see if the model can actually produce a working script on the first attempt. So any terminal errors or issues like that would be kind of a negative against the model. And we can see here that it is showing me how to do it and it has specified using Python with no external game assets. And we can see here in our imports that it is not really requiring anything fancy. So. Speed-wise is not the best, but keep in mind that I am on 3090 Ti's, which are previous generation right now and soon will be even older. So, all right, and it is doing what I asked it and just letting me know what I need to do, like prerequisites to actually run this. Okay, it's very basic and it's just telling me I need to have Pygame installed and it does list it specifically there, which is good. Now. I will pop this into VS Code and, uh, well, yeah, I want to make that file. There we go. All right. So I am in an environment that does have Pygame in it, so I don't have to actually install that dependency. And now all I'm going to do is run and we'll see if it runs it without error. Whoa. Whoa. That, sorry, my mouse is in the, <laughs> whoa, what is this? This is really quite interesting. All right, so, well, first and foremost, it did pass in terms of actually creating a functioning script on the first shot with no terminal errors or anything like that. It is rather interesting the way that it's generating these lines and arrow keys of left and right do actually go ahead and move the quote unquote car, which for this purpose is obviously just the white rectangle. So. One thing I noticed, if I wanted to be extremely nitpicky, some of the Frontier models are more capable in terms of they actually title this something more descriptive instead of just Pi Game Window. But truth be told, that is an extreme nitpick, so not really worth mentioning. All right, this is rather impressive, to be honest with you. I, I am just the fact that it did it in a single shot without an issue and it, it did function. I, I think I'm now gonna ask it, All right, so I'm just asking it now, okay, this is good. Now, please put in some obstacles and some collision detection. So essentially, if I do crash into something, the game will end and we'll see what it's doing. Okay, we can see here that we have white, black and red now. So we did not have any red before, I believe. So perhaps the obstacles are going to be red in color. And these right here are just um, color codes. So 255, 255, 255 is white, black is 000 and red RGB is 25500. So, and again, like I said, speed really is not the best. I am actually, while it's generating, just gonna go ahead and 
remove that. And card wise, let's see how we're doing. So not too bad. I don't power limit these cards. So the power draw is free to go as high as it wants, <laughs> but we're sitting around like 200 watts max power draw per card. So not horrible. All right, so now it has finished generating this updated script and we'll see what it says here specifically. Added an obstacle class to represent the obstacles, implemented collision detection system using the collect, check collision function. If collision is detected, it prints game over and stops. Optics, obstacles are added randomly and it's capped at five to prevent it from just overwhelming. All right, so we'll go ahead and try this. We'll make sure that the imports, okay, they are all the same and good. So I'll just go ahead and run this and we'll see if, oh wow, we do have obstacles. Let's, uh, <laughs> really not bad. And all right, I'm going to hit one and game over. Okay, and it did. So it didn't show it in the Pi game window. It just printed it in the terminal here. But I will say for all intents and purposes, that did correctly do what it said it did. Overall, really not bad. It was able to do this both times without throwing any terminal errors and things like that. So I would say that this is relatively acceptable, and I mean that in a good way. Now for the final test, I am essentially going to stick with the script that it has generated. However, I'm just asking it to add in a scoring system and some general improvements to the game's logic and graphics. Now this will take a while for the actual response to begin as I had to close out of this and do something else. So the model will actually need a bit of time to load up and things of that sort. So I will fast forward until the output starts coming in. All right, so it loaded. And now we are getting our response, which will inevitably take a bit of time. So I will likely go ahead and fast forward through this as well. However, it is just cool to see. So we now have a green color here, so I would maybe have to assume that that is going to be the score text or something like that. I'm now also seeing that in addition to the left and right keys, we now also have up and down, so perhaps there is a way to actually speed up or slow down. Ah, so the car is now green, okay. We have three lives. We'll see the scoring logic here. All right. So if we avoid an obstacle, our score goes up by one. And if we hit one, we lose a life. All right, <laughs> I'm excited. I, I know it's weird. I was just like, I already know kind of what it's gonna look like and it'll be cool. Is that, oh, it's not done. Uh, I apologize, model, I cut you off. Okay, so it tells us just the changes and additions and it has also suggested some future improvements. All right. Let's go ahead and test this out. Ooh. Okay, so I definitely misunderstood the, the score <laughs> um, logic, but... Oh yeah, so the up and down... Ooh, the, <laughs> it's actually kind of fun. The up and down arrow keys do actually allow you to... Um, all right, so you can see I hit one. It actually disappears, but my lives go down. So I have one life left, and to be honest with you, I'm just gonna go full acceleration. Oh. <laughs> so, all right, let's, uh, let's see. Okay, and then it just did the, <laughs> the game over. Honestly, <laughs> truly, uh, like I'm not acting. That was really more fun than I think it should have been considering like you know, somehow simplicity is kind of nice. All right, well, that really is going to conclude this short little Python test of Llama 3.370b. Overall, I'd have to say it was 
relatively impressive. I Obviously my test is quite simple, but it is something that I just like to have so I can consistently test different models on the same sort of benchmark, if you will. Not bad at all, really. <laughs> that game was, to be honest with you, I'm going to play the game again because it was fun, but I will, I am going to stop the video, but this was, uh, this was fun.